disclaimer this video is totally made up on fiction nothing is related to reality ignore my mistakes it's totally imaginary nothing is related to idols real life don't take it seriously i'm not encouraging anyone to get influenced by it the voice in the video is mine picture credit goes to the owner please don't copy my content when poof i woke up and heard shower sounds he's taking shower i sighed and look out of window and wait for him after some time, he came out wearing a bathrobe. He looked at me and took the intercom and called maid. After some time, maid came after knocking. Maid came and quickly looked down, seeing him in bathrobe. I unknowingly glared at him when shameless mumbo made good morning. When good morning, can you please help me to sit on chair? Maid smiled and nodded. As Maid was helping her to sit, then was looking through mirror. Maid, ma'am, your dress? When? Yep, I forgot to give you yesterday. Make it ready till I bath. And also, please set my things in wardrobe after I leave. Maid, yes, ma'am, both. She took her to restroom after preparing a bath. She helped Ryan. Wine was feeling comfortable with her. She's a nice girl. At dining table, Mrs. Kim, how was your sleep? Wine, good. Slight smile. She was still not that much frank with them. Mrs. Kim, you're looking pretty and soothed. Wine, thank you. Smile. Then was quietly eating his breakfast, but he stopped hearing a familiar voice. Hello everyone. Wen quickly recognized the voice and turned back when Jimin He smiled making his eyes disappear. Wen opened her arms inviting him. He bowed to everyone and went towards Wen to hug. Wen, I miss you. Jimin, me too. Tang was staring at them with raised eyebrow. Tang, being sweet in front of mom, dad, and has a boyfriend, rolled eyes. Jim, Wyan and Jimin back off. Mr. Kim, sit with us and have breakfast. Jimin, no Mr. Kim, thanks. I'm just here to pick Wyan. Wyan, at least, sit till I done. Jimin said and they all noticed a sudden change in Wayne's personality after Jimin's arrival. When was done with breakfast, Maid came and handed her bag. Jimin and Wayne left after bidding goodbye. Then I'm going to take my bag, he said and left from there. Then came in balcony and saw Jimin took Wayne in his arms and made her sit on passenger seat. Then he put her chair in the car after folding it. He was holding the railing tightly. He doesn't know why he was feeling angry. At office, all of the staff of both companies were present and today Mr. Kim announced Tayong as another CEO. Tayong was happy. Mr. Kim, I hope both of our CEO will work hard together and make our company grow. Everyone clapped and Taeyong and Wan shook hands while staring intensely at each other's eyes. Simon, I hope you will cooperate with us, Mr. Kim Taeyong offered his hand. Taeyong, yeah sure, Mr. Park, tight smile. Time skip. Whole day passed in assigning the employees. Now it was the time to go back. Wen and Jimin were going towards the parking area, and there they saw Taeyong too. He thought to ignore them, but 
tail, I will take one with me. Jimin Vine looked at him. Jimin, no, that's okay. Tao, you both live in the same house, right? Jimin looked at Vyan. Jimin, are you okay with this, Vyan? Tao, excuse me, you are the one who lives with her. I'm her husband, if you know. Jimin, I didn't mean that, but yes, I'm the one who stays with her whole day. Tao, you critiqued. Vyan, it's okay, Jimin, I will go with him. You go back safely. Okay, see you tomorrow. Jimin glared at Tao and he rolled his eyes, but again clenched his fist when saw him holding her in bridal style. Jimin opened the door now. Tao glared and opened the door. He even made her wear a seatbelt. Jimin messaged me at home that this took you home safely. He whispered making wine chuckle. Tao, if you're done gossiping, then can we leave? Jimin, yeah, sure, Mr. Kim. Mooking, smiling. Tao was boiling. He started the car and drove in full speed. Jimin smirked at something. As they reached, Tao came out and went towards Vine's side and opened the door. Vine, leave me. He picked her in bridal style after removing her seatbelt. When leave me and just call the maid. Then, do you want me to carry you like this? He started walking inside. When what do you mean? Then, you are so cold. PA forgot to put your wheelchair in car. Jiminy. Vyan, idiot. Tao, now hold me like you were holding your PA. Vyan, he's my best friend too. Roll eyes. Tao, then I'm your husband too. Hold me. Vyan, I will not. Tao, then I will leave you. He loosened his grip, making Vyan quickly wrap her arms around him. Vyan, are you crazy? What if I fall? Tao, that is why I did that, didn't I? He smirked and took her to his room through stairs. Behind, Mrs. Kim smiled looking at them from back. He made her lay on bed and went to restroom for shower. Why? Oh, it's going to be hectic. Why? How can Jimin forget? She dialed his number but he didn't pick up. She called the maid and she took out dress. And at that time, them came out. Maid and Vine were waiting for Taeyong. Taeyong, what? Vine, take me to the restroom. Looking away, Taeyong smirked. He came and took her in his arms while making her blush a little and Maid followed them. After some time, Taeyong is the one who took her out. Now she was sitting on bed feeling hungry. She thought that she will ask me to bring her dinner here because there is no way that she will go downstairs in his arms. That is embarrassing, but... After some time, he came in and said, Tao, don't you have any plans to eat dinner? When sends driver to Jimin's home and ask him to take my wheelchair from there. Tao, wait, what's the need? When seriously, I'm not able to go anywhere. Tao, tell me where you want to go. When, why are you so desperate to take me into your arms? Why are you getting annoyed yesterday? Tao, it's fun, you know. When scoff, my helplessness is a fun to you. Blank face, Tao looked at her.
He wanted to say that he didn't mean to say that, but his ego didn't let him. One was looking away, but suddenly looked at him. When he picked her, she didn't say anything, and he took her downstairs. After dinner, they silently slept without talking. Days passed by. They both don't talk with each other. They were maintaining distance. Tang always gets jealous seeing Wan and Jimin together, but he doesn't want to accept it. I don't want to make this series long, so I will just end it quickly. Tang knocked at Wan's room door. Wan came in. Tang entered and saw Jimin sitting there too. He came and sat on chair. They discussed about something. Wan, you need to go. They are for two days. Sign the deal if you feel they are capable to do business with us. Theung agreed for it. Theung, I got the proposal of Mr. Lee for investment. When Mr. Lee, Theung, yes, they are new to feel, but their work is great. When, hmm, when is the meeting now? Theung, in an hour. When, okay, I'll join. Theung nodded. Time skipped. Wan entered inside and went to her seat where the chair was missing, indicating it's her place. She looked up to greet the person, but she froze and her hands on the rest sure. The person was smirking. Wan breath got heavy. Wan, Jimin. Jimin got worried seeing Wan like that. Jimin, what happened, Wana? The hung also frowned. Wan gave her shivering hand to Jimin, and he held it quickly, making Tayong angry. Wan, I I want to go out. It's suffocating. Jimin, okay, don't worry, relax. We are going. He excused everyone and took her out. Tayong was gritting his teeth. He was not liking it at all. Tayong, I'm sorry for that, Mister Lee. That's okay. I understand. Smirk. Tang nodded and went out behind them. To be continued.